Uh, so here's all the refined shapes. Here's all the pieces. Now all of these pieces, so there's like, like I, there's a ton of Z modeler going on in here. So if I load these up, let's say we go to, uh, I'm on streaming, summit characters. Uh, for example, her little back radio view details. Uh, so I always have a null thing here for the, for the um, uh, naming. But here is my back radio here. We turn on polyframe. Let's make this a little bit brighter. Let's go to matcap gray. Let's see if I can change the intensity a little bit. Okay, so here's the back radio. If I go into, um, you know, I've rearranged some of these, so it's going to be a little bit broken. Let's fix it. So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to hold down shift, shoot to the bottom. And then now it's going to cut in. Now there is a mesh in there that I need. So I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to turn off this one. There we go. This is the one I need. So I'm going to move this out a little bit here. And then I'm going to turn everything back on. And this one I'm going to shoot all the way down to the bottom here. Um, sorry, this is slightly unorganized file. I'm going to turn this back on, turn this off. So now this little nameplate, this little plate right here will fit into this little notch here. Something like this. There we go. So here's a little back radio here. And you're going to see most of it, if not all of it. Let's go ahead and do our handy dandy merge visible so we can see the whole thing. Here's essentially what it is. It's super lightweight. I think I cheated a little bit over here to get these shapes, but you could do you could do Z modeler with this stuff with insert mesh uh, mesh fusion like we showed you. Let's tap here. There we go. So yeah, all of this stuff all in here is Z modeler, um, and then dynamic subdivision. If I hit D. You know, here it is dynamic, here it is not dynamic. So again, this is a fairly complex object, but I don't usually have it all put together. It's all 39 pieces here. And then when I turn off um, live booleans, you're gonna see this is where it cuts in. It, um, these things are supposed to cut in. Smooth those down, there we go. Uh, so yeah, and these, these, these things can cut in. <laughs> these looks like these were knocked off axis a little bit. But yeah, these things are cut in here. So if I alt tap this one here, we go into solo mode. Um, this is an insert mesh brush that I made that just has like the little flip switches and little things. You can stick them in there. Um, I even have one that has a cover. Do I have that one? Let's see. Brush. Um, oh, yeah, I think I do. And then we'll go to bolt knob switches. It's a big one. M. And then I've got like, ooh, if I want like a little flipper switch, what style do I want it in? Oh, I want the little one with the little thumb switch. So then I can go through here. And if I had made these nano mesh, I could actually just replace them. But since I didn't, I use an insert mesh brush. I got to do it manually. So I can just go through here. I'm going to do like a split on mass points to shoot it down here. And then, you know, this one, let's say we want to swap this one out. Let's go ahead and delete that one. Delete hidden, geometry modified topology, delete hidden. And we're going to put in this one here. So we're going to stick this here and then stick it in. We'll do ahead and do a turn on our trusty live Boolean to cut in here. And then I'm going to shoot this one to the bottom here. There we go. So we can swap those little switches out. And then you know what? This one probably needs to be rotated. There we go. So however you want to do that. And if you want to switch, flip this switch, uh, what you can do is we can say, I want this stuff. Uh, actually, yeah, I guess it is. All this stuff. So I'm going to mask it out. Hit W. I'm going to hold down Alt and reset this pivot. In fact, if you want to really reset the pivot where it should be, I'm going to... I think let's grab these three here, hit W and hold on Alt and just tap on that vertice right there, mask, invert that. And then now when I rotate this, um, that whole thing will rotate so I can match those up. There we go. Little radio and all, all of this stuff here, the butt pack we can check out if y'all want, if y'all want to, same deal. This one has a little bit of cloth. This is just sculpted cloth. I don't think I bothered using Marvelous Designer. Computer radio, these are kind of boring. The shoulder cannon is kind of cool. So it's again, a lot of Z modeler, live Boolean stuff. So if I turn off, um, so here, you see all these shapes right here. When I turn on live Boolean, that's what's getting me that nice, you know, this is all Z modeler in. And then when I turn this on, it, you know, goes and slices through and it does uh, that kind of shape here. So this little shoulder mount and there's where the bullets come out. And back here, let me, hold on, let me turn this on turn off. Uh, yeah, so all this stuff gets cut in and then little bolts and stuff get thrown in there. But a lot of it is Z modeler, you know, like this thing here is just, just super basic, simple shapes, nothing, nothing fancy. Like so. And then the mount for this thing, mount resize. Did I already open that up? I think I did. Same deal. Um, this is mostly Z modeler, I think. 
So let's see, turn that off. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess I do have some live boolean here. So instead of figuring out how to get this uh, shape right here to be curved and then flattened off and then getting this to resolve with little loops and stuff like that, all I did was just take a live boolean and just go and just slice it right through. It's not ideal necessarily if you are going to cut that in and you maybe have to retopologize it a little bit. Um, that was good enough for me. But yeah, most of this here, I could do a merge visible. This is all just Z modeler, a little bit of live boolean. We can hit D for our dynamic subdivisions. And then you can see, pretty simple.